Hi, I'm Don Kinsler, NDSU Extension Agent for Horticulture in Cass County. And starting our own plants from seed is fun and it's really not that difficult to do. We can grow greenhouse quality plants right in our own home. So let's get started. First of all, a tray that works really well for starting seeds is the type of tray that we would find at a grocery store, bakery, or deli. And I've added holes in the bottom for drainage. And the top will form almost like a little greenhouse for starting our seeds. It's very important to start our seeds in actual seed starting mix. Now I've uh, moistened this beforehand so it's nice and mellow and ready to go. So we'll fill up our seed tray with the pre-moistened mix. Fill it up all the way right up to the top and then firm it a little bit and then we are ready to seed. Now today we're seeding tomato seeds. I like to sprinkle them into my hand, which makes them a little easier then to distribute onto the mix. Try to spread them out so that we've got them evenly spaced. There we are. The next step is to add a little more mix onto the top, kind of feathering that out over the area and then firm down with your hand. And then next, we'll water that seed tray. Water that seed tray thoroughly, then we can put the cover back on and it makes a nice little greenhouse. Now at this point, these seeds need heat in order to germinate. A good way to provide that heat is with an electric heating pad that is made for seedlings. Uh, it's an electric pad that we plug in and heat, then the seed tray is placed on the mat and uh, that the heat will cause the seeds to germinate much quicker than if you do not have that. As soon as the uh, seeds begin to sprout, it's very important to move the seed tray into a bright sunny window or under lights. We can grow them under LED lights or under fluorescent lights also. And in about two weeks, then the seeds are up and growing like these tomato seeds. All right, these tomato seedlings are ready to transplant. And for transplanting them so that each has room to grow, I've saved uh, recycled greenhouse four packs. And for the mix that they'll grow in, I'm using a potting type mix. I've wet it down beforehand so it's nice and mellow. For transplanting, I've sharpened a wooden dowel. A person could also use a pencil, and we'll use that for transplanting. So for transplanting these tomato seedlings into the individual packs, I'll just lift up with the dowel, and then separate each seedling out so that there is only one seedling in each of the cells. I'll make a hole with the dibble, and then just very gently press in and firm the soil around each seedling. The seedlings come apart quite easily. When I've got each cell of the pack filled, then we're ready to water thoroughly. Water it very thoroughly and then to grow on, uh, we need to put this in a sunny window or grow them under fluorescent or LD, LED lights. And before long, we'll have our very own tomato plants or we can do the very same with annual flowers such as this, these marigolds. We, so we can easily grow our very own uh, bedding plants, vegetable transplants from seed. Mm -hmm.